Now, I don't normally do videos like this on this channel. This is a mostly NFL and even more specifically an NFL draft channel. But one exception can do. This one hits close to home. Let's talk about last night. Let's talk about, well, something that needs to be put to rest finally. What's that thing? Kyrie Irving's All-Star hopes. Now, for those of you who wasted your time watching the Golden State Warriors absolutely embarrass Mr. Irving, Mr. James, and those Cleveland Cavaliers that, uh, you missed out on something truly spectacular. You missed out on a man that actually deserves to start in the All-Star game. You missed out on that man that deserves to start in the All-Star game. Show you exactly why. Kyle Lowry, point guard. Toronto Raptors. Let me take you back one year ago. One year ago last night. It's the last day to vote for, for Kyle. He's 120,000 votes behind John Wall, who, by the way, had the President of the United States on his side. Quite an uphill battle to overcome. And yet, he still did it. He still got the number of votes required to get him in the All-Star game as a starter, and John Wall had to rely on being an All-Star reserve. Why did that happen last year? Two people. Really, in, in essence, two people. Drake, Justin Bieber. With retweets on Twitter counting his votes, the two combined for 220,000 retweets or 220,000 votes. We weren't so lucky this year. We were lucky enough to only have uh, Kyle down by a reported 32,000 votes. But, Justin Bieber put all of his followers behind Chris Paul, which he has every right to do, and Canada, as angry as half of us are, the rest of us don't really care because Chris Paul is not in our conference. It does not matter to us. But Drake, the ambassador to the franchise, fucked up, misread the rules, and thought that Instagram comments counted as votes. So his Instagram post last night counted for one vote. So there you go. Two of Canada's biggest stars in the music industry accounting for one total vote. But it's okay. It's okay. And I'll tell you why it's okay. Sunday night, second last day to vote. Kyle Lowry, as I said, down 32,000. How's he going to overcome this? Simple. 150,000 votes just for Kyle Lowry just on Sunday alone. This prompting LeBron in his infinite wisdom to try to get his followers his two million followers on Twitter behind Kyrie Irving. And it worked a little, but it not high enough. Come on, LeBron. You had two million. Two million people who probably saw that tweet. And 6,000 actually went and fucking retweeted it to think that they could get Kyrie Irving, who's played in... 14 games! 14! Most of the leagues played in at least 40! <laughs> 14 games. Aw, how cute. Anyways, yeah, 6,000 votes resulting from that tweet. Aw, how cute. Yesterday, Twitter in Canada, it exploded, eh? To the tune of... An estimated 200,000 votes for Kyle Lowry. 200,000 in a day. In a fucking day. Add that to 100,000 or, 100, or so, whatever I said 
like literally a minute ago, 100, 150,000. That's 300 to 350,000 votes over two days. Keep in mind, Kyle Lowry's vote count, the last you know update, was 350,000. And here's how he got it. Again, nothing from Justin Bieber. Nothing from Drake. Nothing from The weekend, Nothing from any notable Canadian celebrity that instantly comes to mind. Nothing. Here's the difference. Kyrie Irving has a following nationwide, no doubt. But really, the only guaranteed place he's going to get votes is Cleveland, Ohio. Maybe, maybe, maybe the whole state. And that's the problem that happens. You get pigeonholed into voting for your regional team, your hometown team, whatever. The difference is, Kyle Lowry doesn't just have the city of Toronto. Kyle Lowry doesn't just have the province of Ontario. You may have a city, you may have a state. We have a whole fucking country. Because last night... Watch just watching the Twitter feed was insanity. Add that to the fact that Kyle Lowry went out and put up 31 points on them nets, 31 points, seven three uh, seven three pointers on nine three point attempts. Yeah, he put up 31 points on 10 of 13 shooting. 10 of 13. DeMar DeRozan, who, by the way, is in fifth place in NBA voting, put up 30 of his own. What, what, what did Kyrie and LeBron do? They put up a combined 29. We won our game. We fucking dominated the Nets. What did the Cavs do? They rolled over, died, Warriors shat all over them. Literally just shat all over the fucking Cavs. Who deserves it more? The guy that's beaten the Cavs, the guy that almost has handed the Warriors their first loss on, loss on the season twice, twice, yeah, yeah, we've also faced the Warriors twice. We've lost by five, and we've lost by 15. Both of those are closer than losing by 34. The Cavs lost by six and 34. Both times they had Kyle Lowry. Both times we faced the Cavs, we were missing two starters. That's why, one, Toronto's going to be a, a better team off the bat than Cleveland. Because Cleveland shrivels up into a little ball, curls up in the corner, and pfft, the moment they face anyone with talent. And two, we almost beat the Warriors at full strength twice when we're shorthanded. All right? Kyle Lowry put up. 20 plus in both matchups against Stephen Curry. Kyrie, I, please. We saw last night which one deserves the All Star nod. And we saw which one don't. Look at the stats. Look at the stats alone, that's all you need to do. Fuck just looking at one game. Look at the stats. Points per game. Kyrie Irving, 17 points per game. Kyle Lowry, 20. Actually, 20.8. Assists for, uh, for Irving, 7. Assists per game for Lowry, 8. Rebounds, Kyrie, 2. Lowry, 5. Blocks per game, Irving, like, point. Oh, one. Like, literally, like, he's got one block all fucking year. Kyrie Irving, he's averaging more blocks than players like Blake fucking Griffin. Kyle Lowry, blocks per game, 0.6. And not to mention, let's take a look at games played. Kyle Lowry, 40. Kyrie Irving, 14. We stand here today to honor the death 
of Kyrie Irving's all-star hopes. You can still come to, to, uh, to Toronto, Kyrie. You can still come here. We'll welcome you with open arms. But popcorn's on you, because you're going to be sitting in row three.